Jordan. I don't, and good morning to everyone else who's just joining. I'm Rabbi Brian. It says so right here on the screen. It is eight o'clock on July the 29th, 2023. I'm glad that you're here. If you're watching this off of Facebook or YouTube, welcome. Um, if your name is Katie and you're watching it and don't want to participate there, I called you out. I told you I would. Um, if, <laughs> uh, if, if, if you're watching live, uh, super welcome. I'm going to show all the people who are here with me so far. People are still logging on. Oh, that is Katie. Katie, you totally, you win. You, you joined in. So let's wave, say good morning to everybody. Morning. Morning. And more people are still morning. joining. Good Glad morning. you guys are here. Let me go over to this screen back here. And I'm going to say good morning. So I have... Um, oh, and good morning, people on the on Facebook who are leaving comments. Glad you're doing that as well. Let me strike the Hello. clock, strike <coughs> this, get rid of that. And... Um, I want us to start, I want to show you guys a thing that I did. Can I show you? I made this stained glass spinner. Ooh, Ooh that's lovely. pretty. Isn't that kind of neat? Yeah. And I'm proud of it. And that's what I wanted to start with was, oh, look, I'm proud of something I did. Hmm. Nice. You're right, though. I probably had such a good night's sleep last night that I won't qualify. Yeah. And like it only once And I had a thing that happened um, last week, and you know those moments where you you well, yeah. I'm at coffee with a, a friend of mine, Joanne. I'm at coffee. I don't with feel my... overly rested though, so maybe. Hold on a second. I think we got a little extra microphone going on that sounded. Yeah. I didn't have the freaking. Uh... I don't think that they know that they're. I got they're... it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks, isn't being human sometimes fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it is it is fun. It is uh, unpredictable and at times enjoyable. So I'm having coffee with uh, this woman who I know, Joanne. And she says to me, I, I told her about the book that I'm writing and about the wonderful comments that I had heard. And she says, Rabbi, I'm just so glad that I moved to Portland when I did so that I could meet you when I did. You've changed my life so much. And I'm glad that I met you before your book came out and you become so famous. She says that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think as she's talking, I never noticed how mentally unstable she was until this moment. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> she gives me this giant compliment, and I think there's something wrong with her. And about a month back, I'm officiating at a wedding. I'm on a bus after the wedding to get to a location, and the bride tells me, Rabbi Brian, I've never told you how important you are in my life and how I quote you from time to time. And and I think as she's saying this, I'm, I'm listening to her, but all I'm thinking is, now what I could be thinking is, oh, that's a beautiful compliment. I'm really going to take that in. <clears throat> but what I'm thinking <laughs> instead is, what's wrong with you that you never told me this before? <laughs> and I, I realize after the fact that I might have taken in the compliment, but I, I had a hard time doing so. And if you joined in just recently, um, two weeks ago, it was Anne's birthday and Anne had very graciously- oh, you're gonna, you're gonna listen to stuff. Jack, you, Jack when, you, when, you, when you swing over that way to talk, you gotta mute yourself, buddy. Um, Anne was very gracious and said that she would allow us to give her compliments in honor of her birthday. 
And I asked her afterwards, I said, Anne, did you rewatch the video afterwards? And she said, no, no, it was just <laughs> overwhelming. I'm not going to watch that again. And last week we gave compliments to Marilyn who wasn't here. And right now, before this started live, I asked the group of people who joined in early, and thank you, Bob, for hosting hosting that part. I, I said, who would like us to focus our attention on them today where we say nice things about them? And everyone kind of shifted a little bit in their seats and giggled a little bit. And at, uh, I think it was two, it was Tuesday or Wednesday. I asked the small group the same thing. And Maria, I believe I asked you, didn't I? Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to make you do it. <laughs> but Maria, if I were to ask, and if I were to ask the group to say nice things about you right now, you up for it or no, let's pass. That makes me feel too awkward. You have your hand well, over your mouth, so uh, I know, I know. Why well, they can do it? I'm gonna think they're weird, but you know. Right. Okay. 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 So, now, well, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. That's an excellent use of no, thank you. No, thank you. This is this is the the rub. Is I th I'm pretty sure all of us underneath the facade in the first few layers want to hear that we're important and we want to hear that we're loved for who we are yeah it's a good thing it's a good thing to want that yeah. but on yeah. the other side we have this this layer that says don't do it that's embarrassing that i don't want to feel that way and i was taken by this question last week um it was the roomy quote i don't have it here right right this moment. The Rumi quote says, what we need is to not seek out love, but to seek out the barriers we have erected to keep from receiving it. That we need not seek love, but we need to seek out the barriers that we have erected to keep from it. Steve, you have your hand up. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I mean, I had an interesting experience this week. I, I celebrated uh, 10 years in my retirement shop, and uh, they had a little celebration for me, and everybody around the table said ridiculously nice things about me. Um, and, uh, and, and fortunately for me, because of the spiritual work I've been doing over the years and working on two particular forces, that of humility and... Mm -hmm. uh, and equanimity, uh, trying not to get too blown away by good stuff or bad stuff and, mm -hmm. and things differently. Uh, it was a little embarrassing. Uh, yeah. But but 15 years ago, when I was uh, <laughs> much less and and far more needy, I, I mean, you would have had to enlarge the doorposts of my house, fit my head in, to allow me to come home because I. I craved and desperately needed that stuff because I didn't have it coming from inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in a, a very different place now with this part of my life. So it was slightly uncomfortable. It was delightfully enjoyable, and it did not set me off mm. from from being able to continue the rest of the day as if it didn't happen. To 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 take the compliments in. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but it, you know, but it's it, it's, you know, fifteen years of work. Yeah. Uh, at this stage of my life, to recognize that I had a lot to do to be able to, to get to this place. So here, let me ask in in the abstract, what are some reasons you consider you think that you don't want to take in, or I, I'll allow third person people. What, what is it that people don't want to take in compliments? People don't want to take in love because they're afraid of blank. Or they don't want to take in compliments because why? Why? Why do you imagine? And I have a list of some answers here. Um, not that I have the right answers, but I do have a list of about eight different things that I've come up with. 
as to why we don't want to take in compliments. What is our humility? What is it doing? Joe, why do you think people or yourself, not that you you are people, why do you think people don't want to take in compliments? Thank, thank you for letting me be a people. I, I Well, first I want to just make a comment and a congratulations to Maria because she's being blasted with beautiful, wonderful compliments in the chat and she's doing just fine. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> um, but I can tell you that my hesitation to take in a compliment is if I do something good, and I say, acknowledge that I did something good that the next time I have to do something better and the next time I have to do something better and the next time I have to do something better. So if I don't take in a compliment, then um, I could stay at my status quo. Right. You're only as good as your last performance. So you take in a compliment. You have to be better than that next time. Mm -hmm. What an interesting thought. I'm not watching the chat. Maria, can you tell me what's going on? It's actually quite quiet this morning. So people are still waking up, getting coffee. That, that does not seem to fit with the, the Twitter uh, and laughter in what Joe just said, but I, I will believe you. Thank you. Do you want me to, do you want me to narc, narc her out? <laughs> she's <laughs> saying, she's saying no. So we're not going, we're not going. To do that. But so let me, let, let me, um, there is a the, give me some other reasons before I, I tell you the ones that I've come up with. Go ahead, Shmuley. Sometimes people have been so emotionally abused that they th they think very little of themselves. Yeah. Trauma. Trauma makes it really hard that if I wasn't given love in the past, it's really hard to take in now. And I found this thing that there there's this moment of wait a minute i it's capable it, it is possible for me to be loved does that mean that all that time in the past i could have been loved mm. because that makes that shit hurt worse now mm. Mm -hmm. you mean it was possible mm. Okay, I'll let that one sit for a moment. Al, what do you got? Yeah, I'm just thinking that if I get a compliment, then I'm being judged in a sense. Yes. And there is a discomfort in being judged. And I know for me, because I fear like, well, okay, if they're judging me <laughs> now, well, what are they going to judge me in the future? Right. And if they're when, capable when the of... Other shoe gonna drop? Yeah, if they're capable of giving compliments, they're c capable of cutting me down. Yeah, and there's an insecurity there. Yeah, thank you, Al. Alice, what do you know about this, or what do you, what have you what do you thinks you got? Um, when I finally figured out that self acceptance was perfectly normal and perfectly okay, and through that learned to truly love myself, <laughs> then the compliments became real compliments. And I didn't have to dodge him anymore by saying, you know, some offhand remark. I could just say, thank you and be sincere about it. And uh, so once you got to this place, you're able to take in compliments. But before that, why couldn't you? Because you didn't love yourself. Is that what you're saying? Am I hitting that right? I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah. That. Yeah. I, I, and it wasn't a severe case. It was just the idea that I, when I learned about accepting myself and loving myself, then it just, everything shifted. Yeah. It was just a shift. And it was, it was kind of like, uh, Steve said earlier, it's a, it's a work in progress. It didn't happen overnight. Yeah. Thank you, Alice. And we have a great comment coming in on the chat on the web. This is from our friend Spring Phoenix says, I think it's hard for me to take a compliment because it feels awkward to be seen. We live in a world where we walk past each other without acknowledgement. So it can be hard when I'm acknowledged. It can feel hard, right? It, it can feel hard to be seen. Okay, let me see a show of hands. Like you want to be seen, but that's the last thing you want. 
Yeah. That looks like most of the hands. Okay. <laughs> Would we forgive someone else for having that faster than we'd forgive ourselves? Yeah. Okay. That 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 old chestnut's back. Um. Some thoughts that I have. I'll take other thoughts. Yeah. Go ahead, Jack. Uh, to, <clears throat> to me, love that is real is the love that you give away. So it's and better to more, it's yeah, better to love, not the, go ahead. Say it. Say it again. Uh, the more you give away, the more that love comes to give away. So why it's would a, you not take a certain, in a compliment then? Well, it come with it. I mean, the compliment. The thing is to keep giving, keep giving it away, in whatever way you can. That's real love. I got you. I got you. I, I, say that again. Who, me? I heard another voice that said something Wait. about ego, and I didn't hear what that was. Yeah, well, That's right. I have an, uh, well, a very brief idea. Go ahead, Michael. I can say um, it's not so much, I mean, I, I mean, for myself, I like, you know, getting compliments, but the resistance is. Um, the particular, the particular compliment I'm looking for is what dominates me often. And I can't let go of the rigidity of focusing on a particular unknown. So if you get a compliment, but so somebody compliments my shoes, no big deal. I don't really care. It's my shoes. That's not the compliment I really, really want in my heart. Yeah, you're looking for a particular kind of compliment. In the meantime, if someone doesn't get it right. You're saying, I'm too busy waiting for the right compliment. Right, 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 right. Okay. You don't appreciate the one in front of you. You can't let go. We feel it's unearned. It's about letting go. Yeah, thank you, Aaron. It I feels... Some some of the compliments feel unearned. Like I I oh look you're wonderfully tall. Well, I didn't have anything to do with that. Oh, you have a great head of hair. I, okay, but I didn't do anything for that. That's just how it was given. You have to earn it, right? Well, that's that's the question. Is it only a compliment? That's what you're saying, Michael. Is is it only a compliment? If it's something that you earned, and that goes back to what, what Joe said, is if it's an earned compliment, then you have to do even more the next time to keep that earning up. Maybe. Maybe that's true. So um, I, my buddy Larry, I spoke with about this. We had a wonderful conversation. And he said, one of the things about taking in a compliment is that we are so loath to be arrogant that we don't want anyone to think that we're arrogant. Arrogance stinks. It smells so bad when someone's arrogant. And we wouldn't want anyone to think that we have that. I don't relate to that. Okay. Another one that he said uh, was that if we take in compliments, it raises us up. It raises us up. And if we get raised up, we're then separated from the group as a whole. And this goes to what Al was saying some, and we can then be cut off. Yeah. And I want to say happy birthday to my Aunt Ellen, whose face I see on the screen. Hi, Aunt Ellen. Hi. Happy birthday, Thank honey. Thank you. Happy Ellen, birthday, Ellen. I have a question. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How are you with taking in compliments? It's difficult. Why? Sometimes I don't think that I deserve them. Ellen, ain't you fabulous? I don't know. I think you're fabulous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is that hard to take in? A little bit. Which, but I've known you so long, so I accept it. Yeah. Is there a thought, well, he has to think I'm fabulous. I changed his diapers. Well, I, 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 I gave him a bottle <laughs> as a baby, so I've known him. That never happens. 
<laughs> yeah. Anyone else who wants to feed me a bottle or change my pants, that will change our dynamic too much. So I'm going to just just her and the the windows closed on that that opportunity. But it's hard. So. It's hard. You know the movie, the movie The Whale really deals with this question. Yeah. If if you have an eating disorder, do not see the movie The Whale. All others, I recommend see. it. Is a beautiful movie, and it ends. It's like a it's like a symphony. It ends with the most beautiful. I I was weeping hysterically at the end of it, but it does deal beautiful. with it does deal with love, and the barriers we put up against love. Um, okay, so I want go ahead, Emily. Hi, Emily. I I don't like the word compliment. Okay. Um, um, I, I prefer the word maybe recognition or or acknowledgement. Compliment it seems sort of light or or um, well, well, aren't you a pretty little girl? Mm. It, it seems that's a question. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Emily. Uh, no, that was all. I, I just it, it somehow the it, compliment always seems less than sincere. It's superficial. Uh, thank you very much. Superficial. They, thank you. Okay, so Emily, I'm going to ask you a question. Oh no. <laughs> oh. What 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 are you afraid I'm going to ask? Uh, I, well, again, just recognition, spotting, spotlighting me, like Maria, <laughs> being Black spotlighted. Yeah, you don't want that, do you? Oh, I hate being spotlighted. You get in trouble when you get spotlighted. You get and that. That goes back to what Larry was saying. That if you're given a compliment, it's what Al was saying. If you're given a compliment, somehow you're being cut off and set apart from the group. And if you're right. cut off and set apart from the group, you can get cut down pretty fast. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. How about... Hey, in a, yeah, go ahead, Michael. No, I've always been Oh, sorry, I got the other me. Michael had his hand oh, up. Me. But the you, you go... Other Michael. <laughs> okay. That's a good name. I had my um, yeah. When when I think of receiving compliments, it makes me aware of this part of me. Maybe this is just my twisted psychology, but all the opposite of compliments that I hold on to, it makes me aware of the thin wall that's holding all that together. Oh, interesting. And, uh, so if I if I just keep quiet, I don't have to think about anything. So that one compliment might upset the whole apple cart really badly. Well, it, it, it makes me aware of, of the hurt, you know, of that mm. I guess I guess I'm holding on to, right? So there's all, all this the the sadness, the shame, the not fitting mm. in, and yeah. a compliment mm -hmm. held up next to it as a touchstone really shows how how poor all those other thoughts are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I also understand that if I could actually take in that love and I like, uh, forget who said you have to give love to receive it. Yeah. Giving love is the answer. Um, it d dissolves it. But I think there's some letting go, you know, some, some Thank dealing you. with the, the old stuff that has to happen. Yes. too. Okay. I agree with Thank you, Michael. Um, and just a question, how many of you, is it easier at least in theory, to love bomb someone else than to take in the love. And that's yeah. the same hands we saw earlier, all of them. Go ahead, Ray. Well, I'm sitting here listening, and it seems to me what we're in many ways talking about is our own self-esteem. Yes, sir. You know, when you're talking about all the other stuff, and if you have a healthy self-esteem, then you know your value. You know who you are. And if someone gives you a compliment, it's just, okay, well, that's who I am. 
and mm. and you don't need to feel less of a person or like they're cutting you off. And don't we all, I mean, I'm not talking about a braggart, but I'm talking about someone who is solid in their own self-esteem, yeah. in their own worth, and you give them a compliment and they simply say thank you. Right, and that, that's what we, my, And we all look at those people with amazement. Yes. I think that's what Michael was saying, was that if he takes in the one compliment, everything else pales. And it's what Ellis was saying, was that once Ellis knew their own self-worth, then all the compliments come in. Okay, here's a, a slight issue with that, is that if that is true, that means all of us have a little bit of a, we still have a bit to go on the self-acceptance part, right? Probably. I'm going to, John, John and then Alex, I'll get to you guys in a second, but here's what I'd like us to think about is accepting compliments from someone else. That's what we've been talking about. I'm wondering, is there a rule in your head? Is there some kind of dictum that says, don't compliment yourself? Danger, yeah. don't go yeah. there. Yeah. So hold on, hold on to that. We still got John and then Alex, and then we'll get to that question. Oh, and folks, I'm really enjoying this discussion. Thank you for having it with me. Go ahead, John. <clears throat> One word that, that came to me during this discussion is compliments are conditional, mm. which is the opposite of what we are encouraged to do is to deliver unconditional love. Amen. Yeah. So that's where the, the struggle with the compliment is. It seems to have a condition attached to it. That's, we mentioned last week um, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's idea of love being conditional, that that's a form of prostitution, that we've all had to cut ourselves off some, and that that, that conditionality is, is definitely a problem. Thank you, John. Thank you for reminding us of that. Alex and then Al. So I think that, at least for me, right, the ability to take compliments and, and feel good about accepting them has a lot to do with my own personal headspace, right? Uh, like, so, like how you are today versus how you were a week ago. Well, just or he, even how I am in the moment, right? Uh -huh. You know, like when, you know, when you first came up with the idea that, you know, somebody could volunteer to accept compliments, you know, I almost said, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And then, and then I just thought, well, I don't know, but I, it, you know, if, if it had happened to me in that moment, you know, without me like, yeah, go ahead, compliment me. I would have been okay with it, you, you, you know, and maybe it's because I woke up like super tired this morning. And so I just don't feel like my normal self this morning mm. but but you know there are times when you know people have complimented me and i've you know kind of puffed up and gone yeah that feels really good and then there's other times <laughs> where people compliment me and i'm just kind of going oh god no right yeah and it and also depends who's giving the compliment it can be the same compliment from two different people and one of them i can take in and one of them i can't yeah go ahead al thank you alex <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to kind of pull apart the idea that uh, compliments are, by definition, conditional love. Like, okay, I think you can give a compliment and still and still um, express the unconditionality of your acceptance and love for the other person. Like, you can say, "Hey, I noticed this about you, and I really appreciate it, and I'd love you anyway." even if you didn't keep doing that. Okay, okay. So the conditionality is not necessary. It is something that we often see in love is a conditionality, but it's not inherent in compliments. Yeah, it's just, uh, I think it's the spirit in which the compliment is given. But And as Alex yeah, said, I, I how we take it. it in, how I am that day, how yeah. it's, there's a lot going on. So I have a comment here on, the, on uh, Facebook from Stacy Lee says, when I give a compliment, it opens my heart. One happiness expert, Sean Aker, says one exercise is to bring happiness into your life for 21 days to send a message or email with a compliment to your friends. Uh-oh, that dropped off the screen. 
21 days to send a message or email with a compliment to your friend, relative each day, etc. Well, that's a great idea. Anyone have someone in their life they can give 21 days worth of compliments to? You can send an email to yourself, by the way, folks. I would no, never give good. that as a homework assignment. That sounds way too difficult. Go ahead, Bob. And then yeah, Rita, Rita has her hand up, too. I don't see Rita, but Bob and then Rita. Oh, go ahead. Oh, Bob and Rita. Not Rita, Rita, but Bob and Rita. I got it. Sorry, my bad. Bob. Yes. Um, I think that there are times where compliments can be given with the expectation of receiving something. Say more. And I don't understand. In other words, if somebody compliments me on something, it, uh, sometimes it might be a nature of, okay, now what do you want? Oh, oh, that they're giving you, <laughs> that the compliment is to suck up and that they're, they're, they're about to make an ask. Right. In yeah. other words, that, that, that yes. That, so so um, one of the reasons we don't take in a compliment is because we're suspicious that it's, it's um, Machiavellian. We're suspicious that mm -hmm. they're, they're using the compliment to get to us. Uh, well, I've learned the opposite of that from my beloved. Jane will customer service representatives, the the woman at the check in at the airport, anyone. Jane just is free with compliments, and she's mm -hmm. not looking to get anything back. She's no. just right. enjoying loving people. Yeah, well, I'm not, what I'm interesting not implying that that's a, the nature of it all the time. But it can it can be it can be that right. we don't take in love because we're we're afraid mm -hmm. that. Now the other shoe's going to drop. Michael, I know which Michael now. Michael, go ahead. Rav Michael, hey. yes. Hey. Uh, I learned this at uh, at a workshop or workshops at Esalen. I used to go there in group dynamics. They would uh, have us break off and look at the other and say, something I see in you that I see in myself that I like is, and you have to do it and do it and do it. And then you do something I don't like in myself that I I see in you that I don't like in myself. It's whatever it is. But it just really it feels good to compliment another person. It really can feel very good. Well we're gonna we're gonna compliment try, try that. Person. We're gonna try that in a moment. Let me get a comment from Shmuley and then we're gonna try an exercise. Yeah, uh, one, one interesting thing that I found uh, some people in, in, when I was in counseling is uh, when people who are what I would call a ham, you know, they're, they're so outgoing and, 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 and happy and all that time complimenting people. But at the same time, when they receive compliments, they just go like, yeah, but no. Right, 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 you know? right. It's easier to give, it's easier to give them sometimes than to take them. Okay. We're going to do a, I've never done this exercise before. And that means it's going to be awesome. Uh, okay. Jane asked me, sure. I made I made challah last night and it was the best challah I've ever made. And she says, uh, don't ever change the recipe. And I said, well, if I don't ever change the recipe, I'll never come up with the better new challah. So I, 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 I enjoy experimenting. Mm -hmm. We're going to do an experiment here. We're going to do six rounds of compliments and it's going to go like this. And the last round is going to come back to me. So I'm going to start. And I'm going to pick someone and I'm going to give them some compliments. I'm going to give them three, four compliments, something that I like about them. And if you're squirming in your seat right now, that's great. <laughs> just just notice how does that feel knowing I'm about to pick somebody and give them some compliment. And what I'd like the person who gets the compliments to who gets the compliments to do is one just notice what does it feel like report back to us when i'm done giving the compliments you know it felt really weird or it felt really awesome or i'm really proud i let myself let some of those compliments in and then that person is going to pick somebody else and they're going to give compliments to that person and that's going to be person number two then we're going to get that person is going to say that's how i felt when i heard these words and then they're going to go to person number three, who's going to, they're going to give compliments to. And we're going to get to person number five. That person's going to take in all the comp, say how it felt to take in the compliments. 
and then they're going to give compliments back to this guy over here. I'm going to be number six. Aaron, I'm going to put you on mute. There's a little bit of a hum that keeps coming off of your microphone. Unmute yourself when you got something to say. Um, and Aaron, I'm going to start with you. And I guess I need to make it fair that you're allowed to do this. If you want out of the game, nobody has to do this. So I, I want that to be very clear. So th thank you for the head nod, Aaron. Um, and I'm going to start my compliments going towards you. Aaron, what I like about you is that you're open and you're honest. And you're willing to share, even when it doesn't all make sense in in you know what you're saying. You say, I just have to work this out. And you you honestly put yourself out there to 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 not pretty. And I admire that and I like that about you. I like that you're willing to just put yourself out and be honest and open. I'm going to stop there for my compliments and then we're going to go, Aaron, you have two things to do. One, how did it feel to take those compliments in? So let's start with that. And there you are, Aaron. Let's try that again on unmuting yourself. There you go. Oh, you're unmuted. on mute again, yeah. Aaron. Some, something's going on here. Okay. Go for it. There you are. Okay. I, I appreciate it. I kind of figured you were. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Um, it, 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 I, I still, I, I, I do the, oh, he's going to give me a compliment. Oh, my God. <laughs> but then I listened, and then I appreciate it. Okay, wonderful. And then you get to pick from anyone, and anyone on the, you're allowed to, you're allowed to say no. But Aaron, do you mind picking somebody and trying the second half of this? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. Okay, let's see here. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Um. Christina, you you there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I, I I appreciate your your openness to to try to. You know, help people and offer uh, kindness to others. I appreciate that a lot. You've done that a lot for me in the past. So I appreciate that with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, this made me very happy. Uh, of course, it's. Uh, I have to think about it. I, I will think about it later on too. And um, uh, I'm blushing a bit, <laughs> but uh, I'm okay. I'm. Thank you very much, Aaron. Uh, and who should I pick? <laughs> I, I'm just going to say while Christina's finding who to pick, I'm enjoying watching all of you. You look like five-year-olds standing to get picked for a baseball team. <laughs> Everyone's kind of... <laughs> scooching around in their seats a little bit and you got a little goofy smile on your face. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I pick uh, Michael. Thank you for uh, interesting conversations and I, I like your smile when it comes. <laughs> well, <laughs> is it this Michael or the other one? <laughs> You. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, well, I, yeah. Well, that makes me smile. I'm, you continue to make me smile. So, I mean, I'm smiling so much that I lost my front tooth. <laughs> so it feels, it feels, um, it, it's touching. Um, yeah. Yeah, emotional. It's nice. Thanks for my turn, right? Yeah. Thank you. Ah, my turn. God, I like everybody. Oh, my God. This, is, this, this is really, you know, there's great power in this exercise. <laughs> but I, I really like everybody that I've seen. And, but let's see, just to be specific, John. What I like about you, John, um, is that you put yourself forward. You're very clear. 
about what you say, and I think you pick up very quickly if um, maybe sometimes you said something that's over the top or a little too much, and you show it in your body language. Somehow, you seems to register. And I was particularly touched because of your intelligence. So you coming on one day with a, a red nose. <laughs> and I thought you were giving the whole group a, a big message. <laughs> you know, sometimes I can be wrong. You know, something like that. I, don't know. I just appreciate your, um, yeah, is that enough? You want more? <laughs> I could keep going. You ready for my response? <laughs> it's always at the ready. Uh, thank you for acknowledging that. Um, and and I appreciate the other thoughts to the um, and I like being called out, which is what you did in a way by saying occasionally go over the top um to me it's important to be reminded of that kind of thing and it feels it feels especially good to be accepted when making in this case let's call it a mistake mm. um yeah thank you that's wonderful and John, pick somebody uh, to, to move it along to. Emily. <laughs> Emily, I, I've just, right from day one, there's your presence. As, there's a serenity about you and uh, just that whole peace nature and also hiding a, a pretty significant sense of humor uh, almost a wicked sense of humor and that in the most positive sense it's uh it's a joy to uh to participate with you to hear you and to to be recognized by you Thank you so much for being you and being willing to share you with the rest of us. Thank you. Thank you, John. How does it make me feel? Um, just being, being spotlighted makes me crazy. Uh, and, I, and I want to learn to do that better. And take that in, and I'll take my own advice and swallow. <laughs> so do I go on now? Uh, according uh, to the rules, Emily, you have to talk about me. <laughs> I have to talk about you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, what a treasure. And I thank you for being there. Yes, you... What I like about you is, is your affirmation of not only me, but everyone other else as well. And frequently. And you don't let me off the hook. Hmm. Damn it. <laughs> thank, thank you, Emily. Um, so let me first play by the rules and say how I, I felt if if crying is at the 10 10 yard line i feel like i got i was right at the eight and a half it was very uh i felt a little bit towards sad sadness towards crying towards something like that um thank thank you can i say something yeah can i say something to add I was thinking about this yesterday because um, I have a, a really nice neighbor. I really like her. She's also a, a, pro, a parole officer, you know, for the feds. She is doing very important work 
And I was thinking, I have got to go over there and thank her for all the work that she's doing to help us stay safe from some really bad people. Mm. And I want to do that. Well, so thank you for reminding me again. You, 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 you are welcome. So uh, go ahead, Carol Ox. You're, you're on mute though, my friend. You're on. You're on mute. Carrie. I want to say something about this exercise. Do it. Uh, people ask me what I do on Shabbat and what my minion is like, and what you have done through this exercise is to make us feel much, much more like community. When we're in community in a real synagogue, in, in a house of worship, you're sitting next to someone, and all kinds of other stuffs going on. And so, as good as Zoom is, it doesn't quite feel as personal. And then suddenly you have made it very personal. We've looked at one another and we have said some of the things that have been in our heart all along, but we haven't quite known how to express it. And I think it was a wonderful exercise. I might take that compliment Amen. in. And it's I'm Amen. gonna thank you and thank the group. I mean, I, I'm, I, the exercise only, I'm deflecting some of it back to all of you. It only works so well that, but all of you have made it work well. And then I'm going to double down and take my own piece of it and say, Brian, just take in the compliment that you're the one who fostered this to happen. Of course it would happen, but I helped it to happen. And I'm going to take that compliment in. So thank you, Carol. Um, so please notice while that exercise was going on, there was so much happening of, were you sitting at your seat saying, oh, I really hope I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> and, and think about that we can lean in towards that more. I, I recently uh, gave someone a homework assignment. Um, of course, y'all adults, there's, there's no homework you have to do. But here's the, the homework assignment was for them. At, you know, in a phone call, there's the beginning of the phone call. There's the middle and then there's the it starts winding up and so i said at the end of the phone call where that part starts winding up can you say hey i have a new practice i'm doing and in my new practice i have to say one thing i like about you and i'm going to ask you to say one thing you like about me can you imagine doing that mm -hmm. i love that idea yeah and there's something about it off putting the the um and say there's something about pushing off the authorization and saying oh i was given this homework assignment to do <laughs> well, if, i was given this yeah. homework assignment to do where i have to say one thing i like about you and i'm going to ask you to say one thing that you like about me who's willing to try that at least once this week I'd like to see all those same hands that I saw before on the last two questions. <laughs> Try it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens this week. Let's Can we assume that's personal phone calls rather than business ones? Okay, if you want to go for level up, do it on all phone calls. <laughs> Right. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna do it with the customer service. Uh, phone calls too. I got, why not? Spectrum, who's selling me uh, my internet, I have to talk with them this week. And I will tell that customer service representative one thing that I like about them. We're going to see how that goes. What the heck? <laughs> my son does that all the time. Good. This, this could be a, the beginning of a very important practice. Do it. Bringing conversations to a close. And, and also, let, let, thank you, Michael. Um, one other thing to say about it is all this fear about AI and the bots and all that, you know what bots can't do? They can't give compliments. Chat GBT cannot be personal in a way that you and I can be personal. Let's celebrate that. Let's be more engaged. They, bots are really good at criticism. They're not really good at, at, at compliments hey maria do you have that list of people we want to say some prayers for i do 
This is the list of names for today. Laura and family, Rita S., Greg, Cameron Weiss and family in prayers. And can we spotlight April, Maria, please? April, Andrew, Iggy, Lorien and children. Cheryl, Joe, Emma, Megan and the baby. Reverend Penny and Jim. If there is another person in our community we can offer light and love to, please put their name in the chat and I will add them to the list in the clubhouse. And for the people who aren't named, but who are in our thoughts, we send them light and love as well. And let's take a minute of time starting right now. Well, thank you all very much. If you would like to add a name to that list for the future, please go to the Religion Outside the Box Clubhouse. You can find the Religion Outside the Box Clubhouse by going to rotb.org and then searching for the clubhouse. Please do it that way as opposed to a direct link. Um, direct links seem to be throwing off the login protocol. A uh, oh. few announcements. Thank you to Ann. Uh, boy, Ann and I got under the hood of that truck again and we're trying to get all of it to work. If you haven't been on the clubhouse and put in your API Google address, you can put that little, you know, when you see a map, you can see where different people in religion outside the box land live. Um, but we only can do that if you tag. So if you go to your profile, you can see how to, you'll, you'll see a way to add yourself in on the map. So to please do that. Um, other announcements. Thank you so much. Everyone who sent birthday notes to uh, Charles, I've been texting, Charles is a friend, somebody who James has taken under his wings in prison at the Pelican State Penitentiary. Um, and I've been in contact with Charles's mother, who thanks all of you so much for sending birthday cards to her son. It's amazing you, how much the, the random love of strangers can really affect somebody's life. So thank you all for doing that. Um, if you haven't yet made a contribution, to, we are, we are, I've put us on the hook for $300 worth of candy bars uh, towards James's uh, programming that he's running in prisons. And uh, please make a contribution to help with that. I'll show you this little picture. Here's a picture in Barcelona of one of the churches. I'll show you the picture mainly because at the top of the church, there's an ad for Samsung. For <laughs> Folks, religion might be free, but it ain't free. Uh, if the church if Basilica in Barcelona needs to put up ads, I don't want to put up an ad from Samsung. Please help out if you don't already. And if you do consider making your contribution more a regular basis. Um, other announcements. I wanted to do a shout out to my friend Jordan, who won in chess last week. Uh, rightfully, he did. And he and I talked about the fact that we seem to all have gotten rooting for me, but um, <laughs> that just doesn't seem right. Today, in two hours' time, Jordan, do you have a link for them to do? It is a phone bank fiesta. If you've never been involved in phone banking for candidates, it, it's really a satisfying thing to know. I go to bed on Saturday nights knowing I helped move the needle towards democracy, if only that much. But I helped a little bit, and it's great to know that I'm doing what I can. Jordan, can you tell people a little bit about that? Thank you, Brian. I'm a little bit more prepared this time. Uh, the link is in the chat, yes. Uh, we phone bank for state legislative candidates, and uh, you don't really have to be an expert. You just have to uh, try to establish a connection with somebody. 
and uh, it really is a a wonderful thing uh, to act for your values and to and to talk to other people. And just uh, saying the a, name of the candidate and saying which affiliation they have that helps that candidate to be elected. It's as simple as that. You don't have to, as Jordan said, you don't have to say much, and it's all scripted. Yeah. And then we we meet at every we have breaks and we all talk about the funny things that happened. So please join in two hours time if you can. Um, Thank you, Brian. Yeah, you you are welcome. Other announcements. Um, oh, where is it? Here it is. Y'all know what this one says. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not feel okay. We have hard times. That happens. This is reality. It happens. Life life is rough sometimes. And if you're having a hard time, yeah, we get it. We all have hard times. They happen. Um, not not to fix it, but to just to know that we're we're human. Uh, is that it for my announcements? That's it for my announcements. <laughs> I'm going to say one, uh, one other announcement, which is, um, I'm working on this taking in compliments thing. And, uh, one of the biggest compliments that I have is that in about four minutes time, y'all go and you go to little breakout groups and you, you self govern and run and it's this beautiful thing and I I don't know that I should take it as a compliment but I take it as a compliment that what I'm doing in this first hour gets replicated and moved on in the second hour so thank you all for doing that and thank you for everyone who's a co-host who helps to make this happen uh, deep dive is going to be hosted by Al Al is that true today yes thank you Al for doing that poetry room is going to be hosted by Ron true enough Thank yep. you, Ron. And Maria, you're running the chit chat group. Well, so help me out. I'm kind of be in a couple places. So if someone wants to talk to me, so I'll go talk to them and leave Bob in charge and then I'll come back. Okay, wonderful. So thank you all for facilitating. Um, I will be going to the little rabbi's room for the first 15 minutes. Um, that's not that's not a euphemism for the bathroom. It's just if you have a thing that you want to talk to me about, I'll I'll be hanging out there. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let let me put you all on the screen so you can wave goodbye to all of our friends who are on Facebook who are watching after the fact. And I told myself I was going to put the little crawl thing on the screen at the end. That's not working. Oh well. Um, I'm going to push off, finish the recording. Thank you. Goodbye, recording. <laughs>